Welcome my most amazing artists. In this video, let's learn how to draw an adorable Halloween gnome. Now let's draw our adorable gnome. First, we need to draw an oval a little bit above the midway point in our paper. So just roughly sketch out an oval shape. Next, we're gonna draw his smile, but it's sort of a sideways smile with just a simple curved line. And then I like to draw another little curved line as a highlight in my nose. Next, we're going to begin our gnome's hat. So we're going to draw a curved line coming off of each side of the nose. So a curved line that comes off on the left and a curved line that comes off of the right. Next, we're gonna draw two small little lines on each side. And now we need to have our hat come up towards the top of our paper by drawing one very large line that kind of just curves all the way up. Small diagonal. And then we need to come down on the other side, but we're gonna kind of make it a little witch's hat. So draw a little curved line. And now we're going to come back up and start to meet at the top. So up and then around. And we've got our gnome's hat. Next, we're going to add a spider and a spider web and some embellishments to our hat. I'm going to start by drawing an oval or circle shape for the body of my spider, a smaller circle shape for the head, and two little lines at the top. Next, you're going to want to use a series of just diagonal and straight lines to create eight little legs, four on each side. Next, after our spider, we're going to create a little buckle on our hat using just a series of shapes. So I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight line across, and create a small little square. I'm going to draw one larger around it. So draw a horizontal line across, a vertical line down on each side, and then connect all of those lines. Then we're gonna make a strap that goes off of each side. So just a little straight line on the left and the right and one towards the bottom. Now we're gonna create a little spider web at the top of our hat by drawing a little curved line and then drawing straight lines and diagonals coming out from that curved line. You can draw as many as you want and make them as large or as small as you want. Now that I have my straight lines, we're going to begin creating our web by drawing a series of curved lines that touch each of those lines that we just drew. They will get larger as we work our way out. Next, it's time to begin drawing our gnome's beard. So on the left hand side coming from the top of my hat, I'm going to just draw a very simple zigzag line. I'm then going to do the exact same thing on the right hand side by just creating another little zigzag line. 
Now I've left some room at the bottom to be able to draw a very large pumpkin jack-o-lantern that my gnome is going to be holding. So I'm going to lightly sketch in a circle shape. This is just going to be a guide to help me get the size and shape that I want. So just feather pencil in a light line of a circle shape. Don't make it too dark because you'll be erasing part of this. Once I've got the general shape that I'm looking for, I'm going to now draw a very skinny oval shape right in the middle. Draw these lines lightly as well. Next, draw a curved line on the left hand side and one on the right hand side, sort of splitting those two sides in half. Next, it's time to add our eyes and mouth for our jack-o-lantern. So we're going to simply draw a triangle for each eye. You can place them wherever you would like. I'm just using my lines that I drew as guides to kind of keep it somewhat symmetrical and even. Next, we're gonna begin our mouth. And just think of a big smiley face, so just draw one big curved line, and then one more larger curved line right underneath it, connecting the two lines together. Next, I'm going to just draw a straight vertical line down, a horizontal line across, and another vertical line up just creating little square-like shapes for teeth. Now that I have my pumpkin's face drawn in, it's time to grab your eraser and erase some of those lines that go through the eyes and the mouth. And now it's time to make my pumpkin look a little bit more like a pumpkin. So I'm going to just round out and curve around some of my edges to make it have just a little bit more of a three-dimensional quality and more like a pumpkin. Now I can darken up my lines. After that, I'm going to work on my stem and my leaves. Next, it's time for you to begin decorating your background. So I drew a little thought bubble saying boo, and then I'm going to draw some stars in the background. Maybe you wanna include a bat or a moon or a ghost. That's totally up to you as the artist. Once you've finished drawing in any additional details that you wanted to include, it's time to grab that Sharpie or black marker and start tracing all the lines that you just drew. All right, artist, it's my favorite time. It's time to add some color. So feel free, as always, to use whatever you want. I'm going to use markers because I like to make my lines a little bit more bold and then color them in with crayons. And lastly, I'm going to use a variety of blues and purples to color in my background. I hope you've all enjoyed this simple and fun tutorial on drawing an adorable Halloween gnome. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing and have a happy Halloween.